Welcome to Better Golf, I'm Paul Dyer. And I'm Ian Holloway. Ian, we see a lot of tips out there in the internet and uh, less favourable places than betterminusgolf.com, of course. Uh, talking about how to practice chipping. See a lot of people out here on the chipping green practicing the chipping, the old 20 balls in a bucket and yeah. sort of thing. But that's not really the way to improve your, your chipping because at the end of the day, you've got to get it pretty close to make sure you're going to hold your next one, right? Yeah, exactly. You, when you practice, you either want to practice with one ball, how you simulate golf. So obviously we only play golf with one ball. Or you, have like, you put yourself in a test situation and here we've got the perfect drill as a test. I mean, we've got a towel there, so the towel is just, just on the green, so maybe one or two meters on the green there. And the idea is it, with three, four, five golf balls, we've got four here, but you can do it with five or six. The idea is, is I'm gonna hit these shots and then try and land the ball always in the same area. Now, every time I do that, I really wanna make a practice swing and, and connect with my landing zone, so therefore my touch and feel is improved. And landing zone's not something that I see being worked on a lot. I mean, for the most part, the people that, that we teach in our golf school come to us and, and they've got most of the hole in mind, end up chipping with the same club a lot. Mm -hmm. And actually, you can save such a lot of shots by mapping this whole thing out and figuring out, well, look, if I land it there and it's going to roll out, then it, I need to use my 5-iron or 6-iron or, yeah. or wedge or whatever. And, you know, you start to then figure out the break. There's so many spin-offs. Yeah. From, from this draw. Yeah, exactly. I think, I think most of the time, a lot of, a lot of poor short game shots are due to just poor decisions. Yeah. So where you move that, that kind of landing zone area dictates what success you're going to have in short game. So we've got this basically in the first two meters of the, of the green there, and that's really going to help us make just a, a little swing to then figure out the roll rolling um exactly you know you might be watching this at home and thinking well yeah okay you know land it somewhere on the green that's pretty obvious but you want to go ahead and try this test if you're if you're thinking this is easy then you want to get four or five balls like ian's got and see how many you can actually land it on that little square of uh of towel over there we're going to test you now ian see how good you are okay so when i do this normally i like to have a couple of practice swings so i'm going to visualize the the distance there and the shot and landing the ball on the on the towel there. A oh, little bit short. Do a couple more. And you find it really focuses you when, when you're doing this at home. Having to hit a spot like Ian is now, it really makes you practice well. You, you, you're not hitting balls just willy-nilly. You're really focusing on each one, doing your routine. So I need Touch one in the middle there. now. Yeah, you got one short, one long. <laughs> I told you we should have got a bigger, bigger, a bigger, bigger towel. towel. <laughs> and that's the thing for when you start off, I think it's really important that you can make a towel a little bit bigger um, and then you can fold it up depending on your skill level. So you can, you can monitor it or change it depending on your skill level. And I think that's a good thing to, to be able to do with any skill test. Yeah. Okay, perfectly in the middle. And you want to come and have a look. Finn, do you want to just go, go over there and film those? Because even though Ian's only hit the towel once from three shots, the very fact that he's actually been able to do that means that you can see that how closely the balls are grouped there. You know, that was the one, the one behind the hole is obviously the one you hit a little yeah. bit too far. Yeah. Uh, but the other two are so close. Yeah. And you could see just by your body language, I mean, you'll have seen that at home, everyone, how Ian was really focused on that, on that thing. And that is what we always talk about, simulating yeah. on-course situations. I think it's really important to, to get connected with where you want to land it, because at the end of the day, the flag doesn't move and the ball won't move. So I've really got to connect with where I'm going to land the golf ball. And I think when you do this test, if you do it with three, four, five balls, and then you, then you change situations to maybe just with one ball, you're really going to improve your short game doing that. Okay, so try it out. Get a, get a towel. You might want to start with a bath towel to begin with and then go a little bit smaller like Ian's done. See how well you can do. Post your results. Obviously, Facebook, Twitter, you know where to find us. Make sure you do that and uh, we'll see you with your towel on the green anytime soon. <laughs>